Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome to E-Reviews. If you follow me on Twitter, you'd know lately I've gone gaga over Bluetooth speakers, so much so that I've got four of them in the past two months. You'd also know I'm not that guy who would spend more for less, just because it's branded and marketed properly. So in my quest to find the best bang for the buck Bluetooth speaker, I came across this. The Sardine All-in-One Bluetooth Speaker. And when I say all-in-one, this guy can pretty much do anything and everything you'd want from a Bluetooth speaker. So without any further ado, let's get on with the review of this guy. Let's start off with the pricing because every good and bad part about this Bluetooth speaker is directly proportional to its price tag. This unit was sent to me by Lightake.com, a European online website where the device is priced at $30 including shipping which roughly translates to 2000 Indian rupees. I've searched the internet to get a better deal but I wasn't able to. But if you find one, please let me know in the comment section below but until then, I guess this is the best bet you can get. The order was dispatched fast and the package was delivered to me within 20 days. And this is the package that it arrived in. There's nothing important to talk about the packaging, just the usual international shipping standards. The product box has images depicting the speaker, various color options available, and the specifications. Jumping into the box, you get a user manual which thankfully has instructions in English. Next up is the speaker itself. Initial impressions, it has slight weight to it but it feels rock solid at the same time. Anyways, let's keep it aside and take a look at what else we get inside the box. There are two cables. One is a 3.5mm to 3.5mm cable for playing audio directly from your phone and the other is a micro USB to USB cable for charging the device. And that's pretty much it inside the box. Coming to the design and build quality, it's a bar styled edgy Bluetooth speaker which is completely made up of rubberized plastic and a metal mesh protecting the drivers. It's clearly not meant for rugged outdoor usage but thanks to its solid plastic build quality, it can hold its ground under certain outdoor conditions or those unfortunate slash accidental drops. Taking an overview of the device to the front, we have the speaker mesh which contains the sardine logo and an LCD display that depicts time, which mode the speaker is in, volume level and most importantly, battery percentage. It's a nifty feature to have when other Bluetooth speakers in this price segment don't offer any of these. To the top, we have six buttons with various functionalities to control the speaker. Now, most of these buttons have dual functionalities, hence the reason the instructions in English were so important at the beginning. There's also a mic sandwiched in between these buttons, which is a good position to have a mic, but the performance is mediocre. Despite looking flush with the design, these buttons provide great travel and good sound. Moving over to the back, we have the power button along with several input output ports which we will talk about in the later part of this video. But that's pretty much it around the speaker. For the verdict, it's got a simple and strong design which reflects in the build quality as well. In my honest opinion, it's sharp and edgy design and the front firing drivers makes it perfect for a tabletop speaker rather than using it on the go. Hence, the Sardine All-in-One Bluetooth speaker gets a respectable 7 out of 10 in this section. Now moving on to the main topic, performance. This speaker sports two 45mm 3W loudspeakers along with one passive radiator for delivering that bass. And trust me guys, it has plenty. So much so that if you crank up the volume, it overpasses the highs and mids. In other words, it sounds muffled at high volumes but with good bass. When it comes to low to mid volume levels or say in a small room, the speaker is very crisp and clear. Here is a sound test. This sound quality holds good for FM radio as well. Yes, it does have FM and it works perfectly with our frequencies. There are a lot more input methods as well. You can connect your phone directly using end-to-end 3.5mm cable or plug in a USB drive or insert an SD card and play songs from that. Oh, and one more thing, it also has alarm. Now, I've always wanted a dedicated alarm clock. This guy shows me the time, lets me set an alarm and plays good quality sound to wake me up in the morning. Now these are really nifty features to have in a Bluetooth speaker that costs just 2000 rupees. So coming to performance, the sound quality is really good in indoor conditions such as a room 
or a hall or even a car for that matter where the multiple input ports will come in really handy. But when it comes to outdoors, you will have to crank up the volume which will in turn muffle the sound. So it's best for that person who stays indoors and who wants better sound quality from say their laptop. It's for that person. So based on all these things, I give the Sardine Bluetooth speaker a good score of 8 out of 10 in the performance section, giving it an overall score of 15 out of 20. Alright guys, so that brings me to the end of this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to subscribe. Also like key reviews on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for some good tech information and fun giveaways. This is Santosh signing off for e-reviews. You guys have a great day.